So um, let me let me put this up. All right. And let me enlarge it. Oops. All right, that's good. I hope you can see that. Now, the first thing I want you to do is look at the date. See that? October 5th. That's two days ago. I got this yesterday in my email box, right? And it's coming from the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Now, remember the minister in her signed sworn affidavit said, said that, oh, no, I didn't receive it. And I, and I know this sounds like a broken record, people, but we have to do this. We have to do this and let them know that we're not going away. In fact, I'll share a story with you. I, I, I got a call this week from a very, very well-known member of parliament. And we were talking about a whole bunch of issues. JLP member of parliament, by the way. And we started talking about the minister. And I said, uh, said to him, if she had only made uh, an apology in the beginning and said, look, it was a mistake, it was an oversight, and so I will make the necessary changes, then that would be the end of the story. And he started laughing and he said to me, no, 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 you wouldn't let her go. You would find something on her because one, you've grabbed onto her and you're not, you're not letting her go. And I said to him, but this is what we have to do to show them that we're serious because we cannot let things be nine days around here. We cannot do the nine day wonder. Those days are, are gone. Um, so I'm not letting go. But here, but I was prepared to to avoid any discussion about her this week. But look at this. This came in two days ago. I mean, this was drafted two days ago. I received it yesterday, right? And remember, she said, oh, you know, the government received the benefit. Okay, well, let's see if the government received the benefit. Now, remember, I've shown you documents from several ministries, including her own ministry. But this one came in yesterday because I had refined the questions. Now, Here's what it says. Dear Mr. Rattigan, I write with reference to your request for information by an email of September 5th. By the way, the reason why this October 5th, the reason why it's important is because under the law, under the law they have 30 days to respond. So, you no, know, September 5th, October 5th. And she said, the responses to the questions posed are set out below. First question. Kindly advise if the ministry derived any benefit from the consultancy services provided by Finn Partners to Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith. Look at the response. I hope you can see. Let me see if I can. All right. Look at the response. Let me go back down. It says here, right here, the ministry did not. They should have highlighted this word, not. Because the ministry said that the, the minister said that the government received the benefit. Now her ministry, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, is saying did not receive a gift of consultancy services from Finn. There is no official document in this ministry concerning consultancy services provided by Finn. Okay, so they didn't get the gift. Next question: If yes, kindly advise how did the ministry derive any benefit? From the aforementioned consultancy services and also provide documentation evidencing the same see this response see response at bullet point one same thing ministry did not receive a gift and ministry did not receive any benefit number three additionally if the ministry derived a benefit from the consultancy services please provide documentation that this benefit was recorded with the, with the office of the prime minister the office of the cabinet and or the ministry of finance and public service Look at the response again. See response at bullet point number one. Bullet point number one says, the ministry did not, N-O-T, did not, All right? So, there you have it. Our own ministry is saying we didn't get any benefit, right? Now, let me speak to the minister. Let me talk to our director. Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith, on behalf of all Jamaicans at home and abroad, you must 
must resign. Do us a favor, please. Let the bleeding stop. You must resign. And if you want, the prime minister should demand it. Week after week, we're going through this exercise. And I'm sure he's watching or he's getting reports from his minions. And they're telling him what's going on. And they're telling him that what I'm saying is the absolute truth. And what is that truth? The truth is that you received a gift of services and you did not comply with the law and you did not comply with the administrative regulations. You did not indicate this on your statutory declaration to the Integrity Commission. You did not indicate this on your tax filing and God knows where else. God no, did not receive. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm going to put that back up again, Kevin. But, you, you, you know, you didn't. And so if he won't demand it, then the governor general should intervene. We anticipate your unceremonious departure with bated breath. You may use one of your most memorable phrases. That will never happen. You may use that to dismiss us. However, with the, help of the, with the help of the Almighty and the outpouring of support from our people, that will never happen. You will never get to say that and stay there. We want to see your back. We want to see you going. And you're still traveling using taxpayers' money. You're still traveling. You were in New York the other day at the consulate. But we will continue to watch and see if friendship and favor will triumph over overwhelming evidence and the plain truth. We will continue to watch. You, minister, are an embarrassment, a disgrace, and a stain on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. You're also an embarrassment, a disgrace, and a stain on the government of Jamaica and our people. Family, the court hearing on the pending action that I have against the minister is set for October 27th. 20 days from now, three weeks, a little less than three weeks. On that date, we will watch the independence and the fairness of the judiciary decide the question as to whether the minister failed to account for the gift she received in contravention of laws and regulations. Regardless, 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 regardless of the judge's decision, we will not relent. We will not give up until this minister is gone from public office. She does not deserve to be there. She's a poor representative. And we're supporting her. We are. Because she's still using our money to travel here, there, and everywhere pretending to be a representative of Jamaica. But take my word for it. She has to go. She must go. 